And looks like I am live. So while I'm fishing for my controller, welcome back to my Sunday night thing. Using the term night loosely, it's like a couple hours away from night in this time zone, but you know, that's neither here nor there. And welcome back to my continued playthrough of Devil May Cry 3, Dante's Awakening Special Edition. Man, is that title ever a mouthful. So, um, yeah, I am, according to that chart, four levels away from being done with this game, and I'm having a... Oh, God, was it? Um, about two levels per stream progress is looking like my average. So, oh, obviously not expecting to end today, so, um, should be interesting. Oh, and welcome back, King Thunder. All right. I'm sure you noticed I, um, spruced up the background a little bit. I, uh, wanted to do a little bit of, uh, renovating and changing on the, on the stream layouts, um, here and there. Um, little things, really. Okay. 18's a boss rush. Ooh, well. <laughs> oh, God. Good thing I'm down with all the pro strats in this game, huh? <laughs> oh, that should be interesting. Okay. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm trying to gussy up the stream a little bit, bit by bit. Um... Eventually, I want to have more new music. I think next week I'll revert to the old music. And once I get two or three more songs, I'll just have them loop. But I'm, I don't want them to be, like, really short or anything, so... Yeah. I'm trying to be my own quality control as well. Okay. Deadly Premonition. Oh, man. Wow, that is a fun LP. And the final, like, hour or so of the game was a huge surprise to me. Who the actual bad guy was. And the boss fights. Holy crap, the boss fights. It's just... Um... <laughs> really throw you for a loop. Okay, so Business Golem wants the precious. Wow. Magnets. Okay, barring Excalibur, pulling magical relics out of other things generally ends really badly. That and, you know, idols off of uh, stands. Okay. Oh man, George. Yeah, when he, when he turned into that horrible monster toward the end of that LP, wow. It's like my first thought was like, super evil village person crossed with Freddie Mercury. Um, whereas initially I just... He really reminded me of Danny Trejo, and then, then all the madness happened and you have that bizarre boss fight there. And then to find out he's not even the uh, final, final boss. Just... <laughs> wow, that game's just bizarre. And I love the voice acting in it. It's... It's not horrible, but it's just hammy enough to to really get behind. Oh, one moment, I gotta scoot over for something. Because I misplaced some of my things, like my ink pen. Okay. 
Dante, inner conflict. <coughs> I hope we're not talking like Dark Link, goodness. And actually, I do kind of hope we're talking like Dark Link, goodness. That was my favorite. That was one of my favorite things in Ocarina of Time, in spite of the fact that it was in the Water Temple. Why does this game so often bring Legend of Zelda to my to my mind? Okay. Okay. Do a little quick cursory glance of the surrounding area so I can find things like this. Okay, I've got a few extra of those um, over my usual, over my self-imposed limit, I should say. So that that might come in handy next mission. Okay. Just wanted to make sure there were no blue orbs up there either. Oh crap. Um. I forgot to check my loadout. Um. Well, there's usually a gold statue somewhere near the start of a mission, so let's see. And out here. Because if I can go in with, um, what was it? If I go in with Royal Guard, I'm... Okay. Hooray, Dark Link. Let's see. Fist of the North Star. I should have made that connection, too. Oh, man. There is both a manga and anime I have absolutely not checked. And I really need to, to rectify that. Um, I have, however, checked out uh, Fist of the North Star Abridged, and that was... That was all kinds of bizarre. Okay, whoop. This is awfully familiar. Oh. Well, I've got most of my loadout under control. I just decided I'd bring the Kalina Ann along for the ride. What the... What the hell was that? Okay. I think my controller just had a stroke. Okay. Oh, right, this mechanic. What the? Okay. This is not good. One moment, I'm going to unplug and replug my controller. Because that... That's a new one on me. Okay, so I didn't need to walk in here. I had my suspicions that the doorway was the proper direction. So, let's see. Yeah, I get lost a good bit in this game, but I have to say... Feels like I get lost a little bit less in this one than I did in the first one. Now, maybe my memory fails me. I seem to remember DMC2 being a little bit uh, more, more linear. But, um... It's not necessarily a good thing, and I'm getting so many flashbacks of Armored Core right now. Um... Let's see... All these cubes. Oh, well. Grab this real quick. Uh. Yeah. I can't remember how long I've had this, uh... PS2 exactly. Uh, I want to say I got this one shortly. Oh, I'm not. I'm not even gonna mess with those things. I am so bad at activating this. But um, I want to say I got this shortly after getting my PS3, which eventually failed. Oh, little slide. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So if I got it uh, around then, I think that would put my timing around 2009. Oh, one of these guys. Two of these guys. They always come in groups of at least two. Why am I using a Rebellion? I've got this thing, and it's awesome. Beowulf! Oh, what the? Oh, that might be a good reason to use it. 
What the? That also might be a good reason to use the Royal Guard. Oh! I was actually looking up an old, um, old bit of uh, information on PS3 and its launch, and uh, on top of which is some stuff in the article that uh, Eurogamers put up, and they got another article on uh, its launch, and uh, I forgot about the the pre DualShock banana controllers they had for those. those I almost wish those had, those had come to be a thing. I mean, it'd be the wrong platform for a Donkey Kong game, but still... Oh, that's the way I came in, I think. So, let's go this way. Whoop! Ah, here we go. Now I can switch back to my usual trickster nonsense. Which I don't, admittedly don't use often enough. But I have a feeling if I make it to 18 this episode, this is going to come super in handy. Oh. Make sure I'm stocked up. That said, yeah, to go on ahead and show off the items that I have. I have the vital stars I haven't been using and I've been ticking away at. My usual five of those. And... The res seemed like I'm already playing on easy, and I kind of feel a little bit cheap for having like a bunch of these, so I decided not to buy any more of them during the week. So I didn't do a lot of grinding for those, and I just have the one holy water, though I kind of should feel like I should get three of those. The super items I didn't want to go like to crazy lengths to get a whole bunch of. Even though you can really stockpile them, they'd be really useful, I'm sure, on the uh, higher difficulties. If we were playing, like, on hard here, you know, I would grind them all, just max them out. Ooh! Okay. Wondering if I should have just stayed in that room with the spinny squares. Wait. No, I shouldn't be on easy. I should be on normal. Because I know I started on normal, and I got... Okay, that's going to bug me, because when I end this mission, I'm going to save, and I'm going to double-check that I am not, in fact, on easy, so... I'm going to feel like an idiot if, I, if I, I'm if i on normal and just said the wrong difficulty. Because if I... It, I did not want to start on easy. I did not want to do easy. That's just not cool. Ugh. Where am I going here? Okay, I think I'm going to go back to the square room, see if I can climb a little higher. Yeah, I just passed through that cube room, and I had a bad feeling I needed to stay in there. Oh, boy. Hopefully it won't take me an hour and a half to pass it this time. Although, if Dante did have, uh, oh, say, some kind of grappling hook, you know, on his rocket launcher, maybe, that, that'd probably be really big use. Hint, hint, game. Oh! Nope! Back down. Oh, boy. Shades of things to come. Okay, climbing to the top. Thankfully, there's a little camera control. I could use a little bit of vertical camera, but beggars can't be choosers. Okay. Oh. That little square there. Okay, ooh, so push that button in. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nope. Not quite. Ooh, boy. I think I might have gone on the wrong platform for this. Ah, oh! Hmm. 
yeah, I think maybe I should go back and get to the, the um, golden statue and pick up Nefan, because I have a feeling Air Raid would be kind of useful as a last-ditch save. Going up... How about you? Please don't rotate. That would, that would suck. Like that one. That guy sucks. Ooh boy. This would be great if I had a first person cam to get a better feel of where I'm trying to go. No! Okay, and you? No, no, damn it! Okay, up, up, up. Now, where is my... Alright. God, I hope this is the top door. Woo! This looks inviting. About as inviting as a soul NATO. Oh, wait. Am I going to have to fight that Jester? No, wait, never mind. Stupid, stupid question. Yeah, I'm going to have to fight that guy again at some point, but... Oh, well, I wasn't expecting him to actually be the Jester right now. Oop! Okay, right. Yeah, this one... This boss, I really like having pistols on. Oh. He hasn't been too bad so far, but... Uh... Oh, shoot. Probably should have saved some of my Devil Trigger. Oh! And this might be a good... Well, not now for a good time to taunt. Come on, confetti. Now that's a decent time to taunt. Okay. I don't, I don't pay enough attention to this boss. He gives you so much of a, of a window of opportunity to taunt, and that's going to come in really big handy, I think. Back to see about now. So long as I don't cancel out of it. Oh, right. Bouncy balls. Time to get back. Get in there. Oh. Yeah, I didn't really notice the music enough. It does kind of remind me of Armored Corbett. Okay. Let's see. So, yeah, that'd be a... Oh. I guess that's really kind of appropriate considering that one room a moment ago. To hell. Yeah. Okay. yeah, the shotgun was... Actually, I didn't know that this guy was going to be in this mission, and the shotgun's been very useful for a lot of the, like, lesser enemies. So, the pistols were really good for that, and if I had known that this guy was going to be in this mission, I would have gone with the pistols. Okay. Switching to the blade. Okay, didn't quite get away from him soon enough.
Okay. So he's chill penguin all of a sudden. Oh. Alright, yeah, you just stand there and take that. Yep, didn't expect that. Okay, what the hell? Yeah, my current weapon loadout is really bad for this fight. Not the, not so much a sword. Out of the way! Out of the way! Whoa! Oh, move, move. Okay, that was good. Finally, remembering to use Trickster. Oh, move! Okay. Yeah, Devil Trigger and Rocket Launcher. Don't know what I was expecting there. <laughs> Okay, time for items. Now I can burn off some of these extra Vital Star 5s. S's. Whoa. The number I was wanting to get down to is 5, not the... Okay. Woo! Yeah, those little mouth bombs are just not kidding around at all. Okay. Okay, he goes from Chill Penguin to Mario World Bowser in like a heartbeat there. Come on, I want to see that confetti. Chaos. Okay. Yeah, I don't believe uh, I remember reading anything about that. So yeah, that's that's nice. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't remember you mentioning that, and I know I didn't read anything about it. So hopefully, eventually, From Software will give Devolver like the go-ahead to make that port of it. I mean, because from software, it's like, what all else are they really doing right now? They've got a Dark Souls remake coming out, but you know, they can't ride the Dark Souls train forever. Oh, move! know a lot about Devolver Digi Digital. Um, they're... I, I don't know why I've never actually looked up more of their games, but they had a... some sort of western gun... Sh uh, gun little twin-stick shooter thing, I think, that they were debuting at one E3. It kind of had my attention for a moment. Oh. Yeah, I don't have the pistols, sadly. I only have the shotgun and rocket launcher. I'm sorry, I know it's frustrating to watch the two slowest weapons in the game 
I did not know that this guy was going to be an enemy here, so... I'm going to save those for his... For the boss run. I did not know this guy was going to be in here, or else I would have um, equipped accordingly, because the pistols would have been absolutely way, way better. Oop. But he's almost dead, so there's that. Yeah, this game... This game's kind of a blind playthrough for me. Until this run, I had never played this game. Oh, cut that out. The moon's looking constipated there. And the last thing I want to do is die right now, so burning some more of these little ones, because I'm saving those big ones for the boss run. Oh boy. He's so low, I don't want to use another one. Uh. Finally! Now, if I only could grab him by the nose right there, just want to grab him by the nose and twist it sideways, just break his nose. Also, dude kind of revealed himself for what he he was already. Why go back to this form? I mean, does he just like pissing Dante off that bad? Okie dokie. But boss down, so there's that. Okay. Time to switch back to... Well, something else. Okay. If I can get behind these guys, this is kind of a small room for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to switch to the sword for these guys. Get a little bit of slice through them. Oh, I keep forgetting they do not put up with that. Come on, come on, come at me. Boys! Probably should have had a little bit more coffee before stream. Come on. Yeah, see that? See the shotgun? Come at the guy who's shooting at you. But not at that range. Okay. There goes. Down for down one. I mean, I know the bullets aren't gonna damage him. I was just hoping he would kind of react to the shot. Uh, there's another one? Oh boy, this is. Shoot, too close. Okay, get in there. Hit him, hit him. Yes! Wow, I actually managed to jump him without him swatting me down. Okay. Now, I cannot remember the original puzzle to save my life, but I didn't notice that all the doors are smashed, so I guess that makes it easy. Hmm. I love that camera. Reminds, it reminds me of Evil Dead. I haven't watched that movie in far too long. Oh, Quicksilver would have been nice here. Oh, wrong. Okay, there we go. Watch the spike traps. Of course, admittedly, if I'm paying enough attention, Trickster could also be very useful here. Yes!
Right, I remember the puzzle. It was uh, the the riddle. That's a classic man riddle. What starts on four legs, goes to two, and ends on three. Now, if I had a soundboard, that'd be the point where I'd be playing the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog spring noise. I'm not. I'm not getting a soundboard. That's that's not not for a long time. I don't think. That's a bit too showy even for me. Oh! I'll leave soundboards to the experts. Okay, what the... Was that something? No, that was... Totally different recess. Yes, that was that was the riddle. The uh, elderly man with the cane. Oh, hello! Alright, let's see how this handles... Okay, come on. Yeah, like I need to use a rocket launcher and devil trigger. I don't know how I'm thinking doing that. Ugh. Yeah, I didn't do a lot of grinding this week, so I'm a tad rusty. And this makes me feel like I really should have used a freak more in the original Devil May Cry. Okay. Also, collect the orbs. I'm gonna need those. Oh. oh boy. So yeah, since I haven't been doing a lot of grinding, and I've got kind of a lot of orbs right now, um, better this goes during the week, I can use that time instead for a little bit of stream planning, and I've mentioned I haven't got a Dreamcast yet, and I've wanted to get it at the latest by the end of April. I've would rather get that this month. I was thinking of doing some stream planning. And, uh... I still need to visit the repair shop about my van, but... That's neither here nor there. Um... So, I'm hoping to get that Dreamcast and at some point... Um... Start... Checking games out for it. Including a few... Prior mentions on this stream. Um... But... Also, if I get the Dreamcast, there's a lot of games that I really want to check out. And I'm thinking the two days a week schedule that I'm doing right now... Oh, my Virgil sense is tingling? Um, I, may, I may actually have to ramp it up to at least three days a schedule sooner than I'd expected. Doing that little occasional one-off thing, though, is kind of fun. So if I do a third day, there's going to be, like, maybe two scheduled games and one just what-the-hell-ever I happen to slap on. Cheats and codes, right. If nothing else, I want to get that or a modded uh, Dreamcast, one or the other. Ooh, boy. I know why you're here. You're here to ask me some questions. Does that look like Piper to you, Dante? I've already answered them myself. I don't need you anymore. Come on, you poser. Okay, 90% of what Dante does is posing, so what the Oh! He is not kidding around. Okay, that's not hitting. There is a puzzle I need to figure out right now. Oh, frame grind, yes. I cannot forget that. Okay. I wanted to say that for the boss rush business, but okay. Right. Come into the light. Gotta fight him in the light, I'm sure, I suppose. Oh. Let's see how many of these I can... Ah, here we go! Oh! Move! Oh, you wanna try that shit again?
What? Does he just like... Oh? Come and get you bullshit guy, yeah, come on. Oh, this is gonna be fun. We gotta figure out how to lure him over into a shiny spot. Oh! Okay. See, I'm trying to think of other games uh, for Dreamcast other than the ones that were mentioned on stream before. Um, okay, that's not good. Because I don't recall if I ever mentioned Power Stone, and I always wanted to play those. Um, there's a pretty popular action figure line, uh, the Figmas. I'm sure you've probably heard of them, considering uh, yesterday's image. Oh, what the? Damn it. But, uh, yeah, apparently there were um, some action figures they did... Whoa, no! ...involving Power Stone, and one of them was Street Fighter's Kami, a guest appearance involving her. What is this guy's deal? Okay, I've got a teeny bit of damage. Oh. Oh boy, am I gonna have to wait for him to get like right on me to hit that switch? Yeah, yeah, I guess I am. Okay. Step into the light, fool! Yeah, get over here. Nope. Oof. Wrong target. Okay. So, four hits, then kite him. Four, yeah, okay. Ooh, move. That was one. Two. Oh. I guess the uh, power hits count for more damage considerably. Oh, what the? Yeah, get over here, guy. Ah, crap. It's right at the border. Hey, you get over here. Get me, hit me! Ah, not quite. Virtual On, Oratorio Tangram. Yeah, there's a game that I forgot about, another solid Dreamcast release. I'm not sure, though, whether I would rather get the Dreamcast version or pick up the 360 version in the uh, live arcade. Um, which reminds me, speaking of Virtual On, the um, crossover A Certain Magical Virtual On has apparently been recently released. And there are some questionable, questionable voice acting lines in there. There is one that is just like, oh crap, went viral just because it sounded like she was having a stroke. Oh, Mortal Kombat Gold? Yeah, that's that's high up on my list because I don't play enough fighting games anyway. Ah, guy, come on! Yep. Come on, bring it. Yeah! I think I have my strat. That's another really satisfying thing about these games, is like, as hard as I feel that they are at times, they're harsh but fair. And that the feeling of figuring out how to beat even one opponent just really, really good. And I think this game has that down much better than the first one. Oh! Oh, there he goes. Just a little nudge. 
Ooh! Oh, crap. Hit it too many times. Down! Ah, crap. Yeah. Mm. Actually lock onto the dude. Okay. Dynamite Cop. Now, there's another game I've forgotten about. And I seem to remember it being in the same discussions as the Die Hard arcade games. Whether it was like on the same engine or not, I'm not sure. Okay. Oh yeah, stylish? Heck yes. One of the reasons I kind of want to play Bayonetta. Oh yeah. Woo! Yeah, get over here. Face the right direction, Dante. Oh, come on. Wasting Devil Trigger. Oh. Nope, didn't quite get that. I wanted to see if I could build up a little bit more Devil Trigger. Oh, do not want to be near him there. Yeah, I don't know how many stylish combos I've gotten through the game, but I'm sure the game will tell me when I get to the end of it. I wonder, should I go Beowulf? Yeah, Beowulf seems like it might be good for Wrong button. Ah. Emphasis on might. Ah. Okay. Oh yeah, the damage output there is much better. Oh. I just have to get in a couple decent hits on this thing before he shows up. Alright, and Devil Trigger to increase that damage output just a wee bit more. Come on, taunt? Okay. Trying to build just a little bit of Devil Trigger just so I can get that health recovery from it. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I got that little bit of Devil Trigger there. that the health recovery will matter if I just keep taking damage. Whoa! He hits a little bit higher than I expected. <sighs> this battle's gonna take a while. Might not get to level 18 today. Sadly, I have work tomorrow, and so I can't do a long stream. <clears throat> yep. You know what? To make this a little quicker, that holy water's getting used next time he comes into the light. And here we go! Just to make things a little bit quicker. Oh, yeah, that makes things a lot quicker. Because otherwise that'd be about like five, six more minutes right there. Switch back to Rebellion, because this is... Uh, 
I don't think Rebellion is going to be the ticket all on its own. Ah. Too many hits. Hit him, Dante! Come on. Face the right direction, D. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I wanted to turn all of the lights on, but he seems to cut them out fairly quickly, so... Like that. Starts throwing shadow balls like he thinks he's Lucario or something. Ugh. That was a thing Lucario did in Smash, wasn't it? Or was that M Mewtwo? It made more sense if it was U Mewtwo. Okay. Cut that out. Ah, there we go. Thanks for that tip, because I didn't think I'd be able to get all the lights on. Huh. Thought I lost my shadow for a sec. Okay, I would ask why he would ever think that, but considering he did have a item earlier, it was basically eating his soul or something. Weird things in here. <laughs> ah, and here's the co-op mechanic for this game. All right. More freedom in battle to try out different tactics and combos. Now, there's something I'm going to have to take a crack at. Okay. I don't want to backtrack to one of those golden statues. Okay, mission complete. 36 minutes. Oh my... Holy crap, I did not realize how much time that took. Woo! Woo! And then I'm going to do that thing that I said I was going to do. And uh, double check, because this says normal difficulty. That was on normal difficulty. Okay, I wanted to double check that I just misspoke and didn't completely lose my mind. Because, yeah. I said I wanted to go through this on normal. I would redo missions just to make sure that I went through them on normal. I mean, okay. Okay. Mission Why did I go mission select? I need to go next anyway. Okay, so I got three more missions in, in this game to go. Yeah, I haven't done any of easy. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot about Dante must die. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing that in this playthrough. Um, on account of, you know... That literally would be pounding nails through my dick. And, uh, I happen to like that thing. It just, you know, kind of grew attached to it over the years. Oh. Might dip my toes in, though, at some point in the future. It's not something I see myself completing. I rarely complete a hard mode. I do remember completing Halo 3 on Legendary. That was Agony! Let's wrap up this crazy party, shall we? I want to say I completed uh, ODST on uh, Legendary as well. Don't think I went through f uh, Reach or Four there though. Okay. Mission eighteen: Dante goes to hell. Okay. Well, I'm not buying any more items. That's the thing I do between streams. So let's let's take a peek, because the Kalina Ann, that's that's fun for show, but 
I need I need I need the guns. I need the pistols. So Ebony and Ivory. Pistols go bye-bye. Beowulf has been interesting, but Hmm. Don't think I've done enough with Nevon here. Or Nevin. Whatever the pronunciation may be. So that might that might come in handy for a little bit of play. Okay, yeah, hard mode? I don't know that I'll complete hard mode. But yeah, that might that might be worth a quick check. Okay. Let's see how my items stand though. I want to take a quick peek. Ooh boy. Two, four, six. I kind of forgot I had those entirely. And still got two of those, so. In a pinch. Hard mode. Okay. This is, um... I mean, honestly, given the last game, I don't know what I was expecting, but... Wow, that's, um... Okay, so that would be the way back if I were... poking around there. Oh, man. Getting some Memoria vibes here. Oh! Well, not so much with this part. Eight bosses. Oh, God, Nivon, I have to fight that one again. Cerberus, hopefully. Um... Oh, right. Probably need to jump into that. Big bastard chessboard. I don't... It's kind of embarrassing how long it took me to realize that those were basically giant chess pieces. This might take a moment, offing the pawns. What the? Okay. So I can only attack, I guess, the lighted units. Take a quick peek. Oh, what the? Oh. Now this is where Trickster comes in handy. If I'm paying enough attention, if, I, if I'm actually looking at these guys like I should be, I can kind of... Whoa, what the hell? I can get out of their way a bit. Um, didn't get a good enough look at those. I'm assuming those are the rooks. Okay. Okay, now, now they're all kind of bunching up on me. I need to, well, for one, get out of the way of the rook. Put some statue with dots on it. Okay. Oh. Trying to figure out which one of these would most. Okay. There's the king. Oh, a little prick has to castle. Of course he would.
Now I really do want to take out the Rooks just because he can't castle anymore. Oh, out. What the hell was that? Oh, out. At least he kind of shows what he's supposed to do. And thanks again for the heads up on that. Let's see. And the exit? Yeah. And all this weird scenery and all. The more I play this, the more I'm... Oh, these assholes. Really, really digging the look of this game and just in awe at the level of detail that a PS2 game was able to put out. I know this was near... Um... I guess technically it's toward the middle of the life cycle. It is near the beginning of the PS3's introduction. So... Oh man, these guys. Let's see if I can get some projectile ups on them. Oh, guess it's not gonna happen. Uh... Okay, this is getting dangerously close to the bottom of my health. Maybe I need to use one of those instead. And switching weapons. Oh! But yeah, the article I was reading on Eurogamer was basically talking about the overambitious unveil of the PS3. And I do remember a bit of that from, from prior reading, like, especially in regards to the graphics chip. Apparently, <laughs> they thought they could get by with only using the cell processor once things didn't quite pan out, but that obviously didn't happen. But yeah, sadly no mention in the article of, um, oh boy, of a certain giant crab and uh, hitting it for massive damage. Yeah, the end of the relevant life cycle. I like that term. I can only wonder what would have happened if it had a life cycle like the PS4 is having now, with a mid-cycle refresh. That's a concept that's still weird to me. That instead of making a whole new machine, that both of the two biggest console manufacturers have opted into um, doing that. Putting out a 1.5 of their respective systems. Something that I wish could... Oh, wow, one of these rooms. Something that I kind of wish would be remedied with... How to put it? Oh, what the... Uh... Oh, this is the boss room. So I shouldn't have just picked a door and opened it right up. Can I get out? I cannot, so I have to back... I have to finish this guy off. Okay. Okay, so get on his back and hack, hack, hack. Okay. Well, hopefully this will go a little easier than it did. Oh, get out from under him. Okay. Yeah, the whole cycle uh, console cycle refresh thing I kind of wish that they would remedy in Nintendo 64 fashion I mean I'm sure you remember the expansion pack for the 64 imagine if the mainstream consoles d could do that now you know have a slot on the bottom pop your old processor out and slot in a new one I mean, at that point, I know a lot of uh, a lot of uh, PC gamers would be like, 
you know, why don't you just buy a PC at that point? Um, and that's a question I never see enough people answer with, with the right answer of because PCs are a lot more complicated and some people just like to drop in plug and play. That That's something a lot of PC gamers just don't pay enough attention to. It's nice to have a machine that you can just plug in and go. And I wish consoles could do a little bit of, of both. Grab the expansion pack route. Okay. Oh, the last gen of consoles. Yeah, I've heard that thrown around a bit since uh, the unveil of um, the PS4 and the Xbox, uh, X, Xbox, uh, Xbox One. And I'm curious to see what that is. I'm going to have to take a look at that in a bit. Oh, that's not good. Oh, wow, this went much faster than the first time. No item usage or anything. Ah, yeah, the Saturn RAM cartridges. Yeah, I remember those, and if, if I pick up a Saturn, I kind of hope I can score one of those. I seem to remember X-Men Children of the Atom being in particular need of one. And that was a fighting game that I really wanted to... to sink my teeth into. Okay, I think this is suggesting, if I'm reading this right, find a blue door and a white door. So it's literally connect the dots. Adam Coralic, okay. Coralic. A okay. blue and white. Okay, well there's white. Let's see if I can kind of connect the dots in my head to who's supposed to be who. I bet that's Nivan. Hmm. What in the world? Okay, that's light blue. I don't think that's the blue that I want. That's bright and shining red. Alright. Double check. Mm, oh, that was the blue I want. White, green, and blue. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, I just passed by the white one, so I'm going to go with this light blue, because it's directly adjacent to the white one on that map. And... Judging from this stone, I think it might be Cerberus. Yep. Uh, do I have my shotgun? Oh, boy. Well, I've had a bit of practice on this guy, so... Hopefully won't be too hard. Okay. Hit, 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 hit. Go, 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 go. Oh, an A combo. Nice. Gotta pop these heads real quick. I know this guy only has a limited tolerance for this. But, I'll take what I can get. Ah, oh, great. His ice rebuilding. Yeah, this is going much better than the first time I fought him. Heck, after, um... After work tomorrow, I might go on ahead and pop the video of the first one on. Take a peek and see how I did the first time. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's where Royal Guard really came in handy when I was leveling that up. Okay. Oh! Get back in there on him. Yeah, the dots, uh, light blue is directly adjacent to white. And I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be the light blue one, so... I'm gonna feel, like, really bad if I got the wrong one. 
Oh, jump. Oh. Quit refreshing your ice armor. Come on. Be a pal. I mean, I hate to say play dead, but, you know, be a pal. Ow! Yeah, will he sit down for this again? Ugh! That's a move that has a very obvious tell, and I always miss it. It's, like, right there at the ground, and I'm not looking at the ground hard enough. Okay, here we go. Hack away. Okay. If I get him down one more time, this is basically over. Heck, it's basically over anyway. And the killing blow was with a shot. Oh, slow down. Okay. Orbs, hooray. Should I go to the back here, or...? Yeah, I had my doubts. Gundam Side Story 0079. Yeah, I get a Saturn... Uh, Saturn. Dreamcast that is able to play that. It is on my list. I actually have a couple of the older mentions from earlier in the streams uh, written down in with my stream notes, which I need to recompile and... You know, because I'm kind of doodling on some of my designs. And I need to get my uh, list of games all, all together. Because one of the other games I wanted to play soon after this was Castlevania 4. Oh, is that... that's got to be Navon. Uh, so, after that, it's, I guess purple... no, that's her. She's going last. She's going to need... In the Toro HDMI box. Yeah, I may not get that right away because I want to... Yeah, squeezing both... Oh, him again. All right. Hey, buddy! He wasn't too hard the first time, but... I think I kind of got lucky the first time. Yeah, I'm kind of squeezing the Dreamcast purchase and uh, van repairs in at about the same time, so... I just want to make sure that I can afford both and the Dreamcast should be the easy part, but add-ons afterwards? Oh, boy. And he's he's hitting like a truck. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I don't know why, but this guy really makes me think Mortal Kombat bad guy. Like, this is this is a guy who should be like a sub-boss in a Mortal Kombat game. But he's got a relatively sleek design, considering some of the baddies in this game. Oh! Power Geyser. Okay, maybe I picked the wrong fighting game. Maybe I should have gone with uh, Fatal Fury. Yeah. Terry Bogard? Andy Bogard? And whatever the hell this dude is. He's the long-lost Bogard brother. Yeah. Oh! Okay, I don't think he's having uh, much of this. Oh. Oh! and his little quakes. Now, I don't remember those columns from the last playthrough. Okay. 
I also don't remember this guy having a scorpion tail in the prior playthrough. And done. And while he took a bit more health than I would have liked him to take. Alrighty. Well, see you next time, and take it easy. Oh. Let's see. Wow, this level's dreamlike design. I, I kind of like the glow of the level. <sighs> okay, that's three dots. Now I have to take on the one boss I really was not looking forward to fighting again. Oh boy. Kaysen! Kaysen! That was the big guy. Okay. I was thinking Hayden for some reason. She has all the bats. Okay. Yeah, this is one I don't think I've learned enough from my prior playthroughs to really effectively combat here. And she's going to be a pain in the ass, especially with her health regen method. Okay. Burn her guardian bat army. Okay. Become tired. Lady, I'm just getting warmed up. How about you with your little flailing over there? Now, the sad thing is, I really wish I knew of a good way to get rid of these bats. Okay. Other than the brute force method, which... This is not a boss that seems really con conducive to a brute force playthrough. She seems like... Being deliberate and better paced might be... More to my... Advantage. Okay. Okay, I don't know what that was, but whatever it was, I didn't get hit by it, so I can live with that. Oh! Okay, that's not good. Out. Now, when she start her... Regen rush. I want to say she usually does that around 25% health mark. Am I enjoying myself? Yeah, interesting question, crazy bat lady. <sighs> Had to burn that health pickup right there. Okay, watch my footing. There's a naked lady in the room, and she's nude with no clothes on! I should have made that joke the first playthrough. Okay. Come on, lady. Cut it out. Mm. I just love the idea, though, of the... the, the Opera dress made entirely out of bats. Whoa, okay, that I was supposed to jump for that one. Okay. Okay. Watch the ground and jump. Okay, out, out of the way. This is where Trickster is supposed to come in handy. Okay, up. Okay, I am, I am burning through so much health. Oh boy. 
She is not a fun boss. Okay, but at least she didn't get me with her... her grab. Because that's a horrible reset. Watch the ground. Okay, here we go. Can I hit her? Yes! Got a few more hits in. She's getting to that point where that grab is just critical to dodge. Okay. I'm going to keep a little bit of distance from her. Okay. Can I get her with this little barrage? Not quite. Damn it. She's like a tail end of her health. Okay. Na 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 bat rod. Na 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 na. Okay, jump. Okay, she's done. Yes. Oh, holy crap! Much better result than last time. No yellow orb usage. None of that. None of the. Still super tense. Oh, wow. Please tell me she's the last one I have to fight. Not sure about that. Okay. Unites the light. Damn it. So do I have to do the black one now? Do I have to find the black door? Who would be the black one? That wouldn't... Oh man, I'm not going to have to fight that darkness boss again. Oh no... Okay, no. If this room's layout is any indication, I need to find that. It's going to be kind of difficult to find that green orb that I saw over there just a second ago. Oh, there's a green orb. I kind of wish I had a... Um, more easy to reach laptop or something similar because I mean my chat PC is right here but can't quite so easily look away from it to do what I want to do because uh, this room layout MC Escher that's that's who I was trying to think of that this looks like an Escher painting okay what the what the Okay, so there's... This is going to be a thing. So there's dark blue, green... Okay, I'm going to take a look up at that white green, green. Who would correspond to green, white green... Blue can't be Cerberus, because I just fought him. Let's see, you've got... Uh, is green going to be that chariot battle? No, it's Agni and Rudra. Okay. And if what I did last time is any indication, staying mobile is the trick here. Hmm. And out of their way. Wearing them down both at once, I seem to recall, coming up. Mm. 
Mm. These guys got parries? Okay, what's that? Yeah, get in on it. See if I can get some health recovery real quick. Bull rush of theirs it doesn't seem too threatening when you look at it, but when they do it, ooh, it just worries me that I'll never be able to get out of the way in time. Oh, that's probably the thing I should be more worried about. Oh, speaking of not getting out of the way in time. I have a bad feeling that I am going to have to go through this this level again. Hey, what is that up there? Oh, it's just a fire. Okay, so Blue's got more health. Yeah, now there's another weakness I've kind of had while playing these games. I don't learn the enemy names well enough. I don't consult the codex and, you know... Try to figure out which one's Agni or which one's Rudra. It's just the blue one. Alright. Okay. Jump over him. I need I do not need them just sitting right on top of me all that close. the sword clash, too. That's... Nice little flare. Ooh! Oh, yeah. Nice dodge. Oh. Don't want to kill him just yet. around their shadows. That's That adds to the oddity of this... You now this whole level. Oh! This isn't really doing a lot of damage, so I can whittle him down to maybe a hit or two. First one's down, don't want him to, like, res or anything. There he goes! Yes! And going back to Kaysen and the mention of him, yeah, him coming up in the Deadly Premonition playthrough. <laughs> I seem to remember while I was watching that, you know, he came up. That was a boss battle I really would have expected more of this game. What's that? Oh, thank God. I was worried I'd have to fight that last blue boss. And, oh, oh, jerk, uh, jerk, uh, yes, uh, King Thunder was the only other guy in chat at the time being. Yeah, welcome to the, welcome to the stream. I'm running a bit long today. I normally do these for an hour. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to pay attention, I promise. While dude over here is a... Uh, business golem doing his best nightmare impression. And sudden heterochromia is sudden. Jerkon M1. I'm probably butchering that name. If I am, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this is nice. 
He's finally donned the Sparta look. Mm. And that's where the mission ends, of course. Oh, boy. Yeah, that time is uh, kind of embarrassing. Yeah. Thankfully, I don't claim to be good at these games. Um, sadly, though, since this stream is running long and I have to get up way early in the morning each day for work, I'm having to do like I usually do, and I'm going to have to call it here. So, <laughs> sorry about the timing, but thank you again for stopping in on, on uh, my playthrough of uh, Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. This is the PS2 version, for, uh, for clarification. And I will be back on Saturday on my usual schedule with Armored Core 2, and Sunday with more of this. So, if you happen to pop in around 4 o'clock Eastern, uh, 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern, I should say. That's my current schedule for the time being. And if you see me on Twitch, on Twitter, if I do something during the week, I'll uh, tweet it out. By uh, noon, on uh, no uh, no later than noon on the day of. And uh, if I happen to see any good game deals, other than the stuff that's like on Humble and the occasional GOG th uh, freebies. Uh, yeah, USA time. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm in the eastern United States, so... 4 o'clock Eastern U.S., and um, that's that's my schedule. I, I stream on the weekends, usually close to an hour. Oh, wow. Viewer spike. <laughs> Hello, guys. Yeah, sorry again about the timing, because this is usually when I wrap up, and I, have, I am so sorry, but I really do have to, because I have chores that I burn through. But, uh, as I said, 4 o'clock Eastern uh, Standard Time... I will be back on Saturday and Sunday for Armored Core 2 and Devil May Cry 3 Special. So I'm going to go ahead and save again because I know they're my bad habits. 30 hours of playtime, my god! Hmm. Oh, boy. Th that's seven, nine viewers. That's the most viewers I've ever seen on here. So thanks again for showing up, even, even with the timing being what it is. Um, I promise I will be back, though. But, uh, sadly not today. I will be throwing these up on YouTube on Wednesday. And I've got to go do chores. So sad. So, see you later, people. And... Ah, there we go.